Hi, welcome to TOEFL Tuesday. I'm Lucas, I'm the TOEFL guy at Magoosh. And here today we are talking about a little bit of how the TOEFL is graded so you can understand better what these larger two-point questions uh, mean for you and how your answers affect your points. Uh, when I say two-point questions, I'm actually going to talk about three- and four-point questions also, but it's more common that they are only two points. So, on the TOEFL, there's one special kind of question that is worth extra points. It's the final reading question on every passage. So, on the TOEFL, you have three reading passages. That means you get three of these. Sometimes you can have four passages, in which case you get four of these. It's the final for each passage. And that question is worth extra points. Now, I should clarify here that when you are talking about extra points on the TOEFL, I don't mean from the 0 to 30 scale that it's two points on that scale. No, no. Because that is a scaled score. I'm talking here about the raw score. So really what I mean here, instead of two points, not like 24 to 26 points in your total reading score, I mean that these questions are worth two times other questions, two times normal questions, or possibly three times normal questions or four times normal questions. And that ends up scaling on the 0 to 30 scale in a complicated way that I talk about in other lessons. If you want to know more about that, you can find more in other TOEFL Tuesdays or TOEFL.Magoosh.com. But let's just talk about how the two, three, and four times points questions work. Well, sometimes you see a question that has three correct answers, and you need to choose those three from a total of six answers. So there are three correct and three incorrect. In that case, it is worth two points. Sometimes you see a question that has five correct answers out of seven total. So there are two incorrect and five correct. And if you choose all those correctly, you get three points. And sometimes you have seven correct answers with a total of four points. Almost always you will see this, the uh, three point, or sorry, two point question with three correct answers. Most TOEFLs only have these ones, but it's possible that you will see these bigger questions with uh, five or seven correct answers. This one is very rare. If you see those, what, you, what the scoring looks like is basically descending from the maximum correct answers down one point per correct answer. So, for example, if you have a seven correct answer question, right, this bottom type of question where there are nine answers and you choose seven, then if you choose all seven correctly, then you get the maximum four points. If you choose six correctly, you get three points, five, you get two points, and if you choose four correctly, you get one point. Any fewer, if you choose three correct or two correct or one correct, zero points. So this is the same for the other ones. If it's a three correct answer question, then choosing three correct answers gets you two points. Choosing two correct answers gets you one point, and choosing one correct answer gets you zero points. I hope that makes sense. That's basically how it works for all these multiple choice or multiple point questions on your TOEFL. But just remember, it's not a perfect, uh, it doesn't become your scaled score, zero to 30, uh, perfectly from one point to one point there is a little bit of difference where one question might mean two points difference or maybe a half point difference in the scaled score. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on another Tuesday. If you want more advice uh, and more preparation for your TOEFL, come to toefl.magoosh.com and you'll find more of me, Lucas, the TOEFL guy. Great seeing you. Next time.